Hey everyone, I'm back with a few news again. The first thing I shared on the YouTube community tab but that I wanted to share with you all is the first article in the Become a Game Developer series is out. It's a long guide to help you get started with programming in general and the purpose is to help you get started with game programming and game design as well. So this is a multi-part series, there are more guides coming for it and at first it's very general, it's general advice explaining what programming is about, helping those of you who feel a bit intimidated to get into it. I know that I was an artist myself, I worked as an artist professionally, I worked as a game designer and UX designer and I slowly became a developer. I'm not a great developer but you can see from the tutorials that I learned development over time so it's accessible to creative people. I tried to explain that this is a creative job as well. And anyway, if you want to make games alone or you want to become a game designer, professional one, it should be quite useful. Next up, the GDQuest website is open source. All the sources are on GitHub. The content is under the Creative Commons license so that we can reuse some of the content for the Godot docs. For example, the series I talked about before and the templates, the CSS and all, you can grab the code, chunks of it or the entire thing because it's under the MIT license. Now I'm also working on the bus chapter for the Go to 3 course. It will be coming at the end of the month. It's probably the most complex until now. For Kickstarter backers and everyone who's bought the course, I said I would cover the state pattern in the pro version. I did and some more advanced things, but we've talked with tutors on the one hand and a lead developer from a game studio, former lead developer who advised to show a scalable solution for the bus. So it's going to be available to everyone, all three versions of the course. It shows the state pattern without the pushdown automaton and HFSM that are only part of the pro version of the course. It also shows a different take because a finite state machine for an artificial intelligence is not exactly the same as doing it for a character where you can have input that interrupts the states. So for AI it's not the case. It's also showing how to create sequences. So there's a sequence base class that's going to run states in sequence for pattern based monsters. And in this case, a bus that looks roughly like this. It prepares, it charges on the player, bumps into walls and then goes back to the screen center where it can roam and then it can switch behaviors. Hey, so it's really sunny right now. That's why I have a bit of a hard time opening my eyes, but in two days on Saturday, I will be in Kyoto for the Bit Summit, ready to record with this new setup and gear. I'll try to get some indie game developers advice for you and make a video out of that. If you want to meet there, if you are in Japan, just drop me a message, leave a message in the comments and we can arrange that. I'll be there to talk about Godot as well. Also yesterday that was the first video by Guilherme on the channel so we are interested in your feedback like written feedback to help him make the best content possible. He's going to work at GD Quest for a while. It means that we can make more content from now on so I hope you're excited. I am <laughs> at least and that's it. Be creative, have fun, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.